Just Like Us, for LGBT young people. Hi everyone and welcome to episode 4 of the Just Like Us podcast. I'm Nora. And I'm Matthew. And today we're going to be talking about Pride. There's a lot to talk about with Pride because it's such a big event in the LGBT calendar. We're going to discuss a few things like do we like Pride, do we dislike Pride, what's Pride's function and really importantly how you might be able to stay safe and have a great time at Pride. Pride started in the 1970s as a protest against police violence at the Stonewall Inn in New York. Most of the key figures at Stonewall were trans women of colour, who are also sex workers. Pride nowadays looks like a big celebration, but it's important to remember how it started. And whilst remembering how it started, as you said, so it's a, it's a celebration as well. And for a community that's supposed to be very non-binary about our attitude towards things, the way that we look at Pride can be really binary. Either it is a party or it's a protest. But actually, it can be both. So whether that means that you're having a great time with your friends on the dance floor or waving a rainbow flag and shouting about current LGBT issues, both of those are equally acceptable ways to celebrate Pride. But you've got to make sure that everyone's allowed to respond to the event how they want to. Even if there's a specific mainstream view about how Pride is or who attends it, it's an event for a very diverse crowd and that needs to be respected. And speaking of that diverse crowd, we're now going to hear from some of the other Just Like Us ambassadors on their experiences of Pride. You're listening to Just Like Us, the monthly show for LGBT young people. Can you just introduce yourself, say who you are, who you're with? Hi, I'm Ellen, and I work for the Universal Bristol at the Quality, Diversity and Inclusive Eyes. My name is Maddie, um, I'm a social this year. this year? Um, because my friends are here, normally. Um, I was marching with the society. So that's why I'd say, well, I'm at work, but also fun. If I wasn't at work, I would be here anyway. Um, I absolutely love Bristol Pride, so I've been working on it. I just started this job a few weeks ago, and my first task was, can you organise Pride? And I was like, absolutely. What is your favourite memory of being at Pride from, Ooh. as long as you can remember? Um, taking my mum to Leeds Pride last year. Oh, brilliant. memory. Um, <laughs> She got a bit tipsy too quick, but I think it helped me embrace the moment. Um, and we had a really lovely time, and it was so lovely sharing kind of my world with her. I was in a group, I was actually with you. Yes, um, she was. It was fun. Yeah, we we met Tom the, Daly. Yeah, I was going to talk about Sorry, that. carry on. Well, I was just going to say that I met Tom Daly. <laughs> You're listening to Just Like Us, the monthly show for LGBT young people. So we're just going to have a chat now about our own experiences of Pride. And can you just tell me, Nero, like, what was the first time that you attended a Pride? Um, I was about 15 and I went with a few of my non-LGBT friends. Um, and it was, it was a good time and I really enjoyed myself, but it was a lot more quiet and subdued and calm than I feel like it would be if I went now. And if you could give your younger self any advice about going to Pride for the first time, what would that be? I think it would be just to go in with an open mind and enjoy it how you want to. So if you just want to have a quiet Pride where you don't, you're not hugely out and loud, that's totally fine. But if you do want to have a great time and go, go to a party after, that's great. How about you? What would you say to your younger self at Pride? I would tell my younger self not to drink so much. <laughs> Historically, for me, Pride events have been quite alcohol related which I think is a very common experience Mm -hmm. but like you're saying I think that you're going to be in an environment where people are drinking people are smoking where there's lots of loud music and actually if you Mm -hmm. want to just sit by the side and just observe for a while that's okay as well you don't have to be partying all of the time which is what I think I thought I had to do when Mm -hmm. I first went and are there any any tips that you'd give young people today to be safe at Pride? There's a lot that you can talk on. It's not that it's a dangerous experience or anything like that. It's just that because it's going to be busy, like you just need to be aware of your surroundings and your friends. Like if your friend doesn't look too hot, suggest maybe going to find a McDonald's and getting some drinks or something like that. Mm -hmm. And make sure your phone is fully charged. Mm -hmm. Make sure that your friends are with you at all times. And I'd say that um, that you've got a meeting point. If somebody's lost, if you can't find them for more than half an hour, 
then you go to that particular tent or that particular stall and yeah having a bottle of water having a sun cap and also make sure that you're creating enough space for other people to enjoy pride how they want to mm -hmm. so your idea of having a great time on the dance floor might actually be making somebody else feel quite uncomfortable you're listening to just like us the monthly show for lgbt young people so i'm just wondering because it's quite a hot topic at the moment do you have any opinions on who pride is for so i think at the base of it pride is for the lgbt plus community but that's definitely not to say that allies aren't welcome yeah i love being able to bring my straight allies and friends to pride mm -hmm. but i do expect them to behave in a certain way this isn't a hen party you know this is very much for the community of people that i belong to and if they did anything that I thought was disrespectful or, you know, used terminology I thought was outdated or offensive, I would call them up on it and say, this is not a space for that. Whatever your opinion on, say, straight allies attending Pride is, you know, you don't actually know just from looking at somebody what they might be or how they might identify. Because it might be that you think you're looking at a cis heterosexual couple, but you're actually looking at a trans couple. And so I think making sure there's space for everyone and being welcoming because ultimately we're all uniting on this one day under this same rainbow umbrella to fight for the same cause or to party for the same cause. <laughs> yeah, as a bisexual person, I'm now in a relationship with a woman, but if in the future I'm in a relationship with a man, I'd still love to go to Pride and I wouldn't want that to change just because somebody thinks I'm straight. Like, you just need to be aware of the different identities that will be there and what people want to get from Pride and just check yourself accordingly so that you're being as polite and kind as you can. Mm. However you choose to celebrate your Pride season, we hope you have the most amazing time. And remember that there are always stewards and security members of staff available if you really need help. Stay safe and have a great time. Best of luck and enjoy Pride. Bye guys. Bye. You've been listening to Just Like Us, the monthly show for LGBT young people. The show was hosted by Matthew and Nura, produced by Samantha and Rosie, and edited by Daniel and Cloda. The music was by Twisterian. We come into schools too. Young people, teachers and parents can find us at www.justlikeus.org.